Hey guys, Crypto Dad here, and today I'm going to show you how to recover a Bitcoin wallet using your seed. So let's dive in. So in my previous videos, I showed you how to download, verify, and install the Electrum Bitcoin wallet software so that you could manage uh, Bitcoin wallets and Bitcoin transactions. And I've had a few questions from some of my subscribers about how do you restore a wallet from a seed. Uh, for whatever reason. Now you may have uh, your software might have gotten corrupted, your, uh, maybe the file uh, for your Electrum Bitcoin wallet uh, got uh, moved or deleted somehow, or maybe you reinstalled a new operating system on a clean hard drive, something of that nature, and you need to reinstall your software and get your wallets back. So uh, there may be a lot of reasons why you need to recover from a seed so uh, we won't go into all of that so I'm just going to show you the process of restoring the wallet from the seed. So let's launch the uh, software. I'm gonna launch the Electrum Bitcoin wallet software and we'll take a look at uh, our wallet. Okay so uh, we're gonna log in with our password Okay, and here's the standard wallet. As you see, it's a default wallet. I installed the software, and uh, you know these are our tabs. As you can see right now, there's no history, there's no balance. It's just a blank wallet uh, so for demonstration purposes. Uh, so, uh, what about this seed? Now, when you first set up this wallet, it's going to force you to, uh, as you're creating the new wallet, it's going to show you the seed, which is a 12-word uh, seed and then it's gonna force you it's gonna tell you to save it somewhere safely and then it's gonna force you to retype it in to access the wallet for the first time so uh, and it tells you this is very important so uh, the first step in this whole process to make sure that you have this seed saved somewhere so that uh, if things go wrong you can restore so let's say uh, you got into your wallet and somehow managed to type that seed in and then forgot where it was. So we can always regenerate it. We can go over here to uh, wallet and you see the word seed down here. And it's going to ask for your password again. And bam, there it is. Uh, it's a 12 word seed. Uh, and this gives you total access to your Bitcoin wallet. Now the interesting thing is, is that this seed gets generated uh, when the wallet is created and the wallet is empty. And so you think to yourself, well, if it's like a backup of my uh, wallet, here let me make this bigger for you guys, if this is a backup of my wallet, then uh, and then I've added and subtracted bitcoins and then lost everything. Isn't this just a backup of the wallet in its original state? Ah, no, it's not. It's the a backup of the bitcoin address. So if you've added bitcoin, uh, subtracted bitcoin after the fact, you can still use this seed to gain access to the bitcoin wallet and all of your transactions that you created after you created the wallet will still be there and your Bitcoin balance will still be there. Okay, so let's say uh, we could copy this if you wanted to with a right click and just say launch word or something and just paste it in there. All right, and then you've got your seed saved. Okay, okay that's pretty straightforward. Now, but it's not best practice to keep the seed on your computer because someone might have access to it. So a much better way is to write down your seed on a piece of paper. Now, I have this nice piece of paper over here, which I generated from the blockchain website. Uh, and I can show you how to do that. But as you can see, it's very nice, neat and clean. And I've written down the entire seed for this wallet on a piece of paper. Now this piece of paper should be kept in a very safe place. It's basically all of the bitcoins that are in your wallet. So it's just like money. 
So uh, put it in a safe place and put it somewhere where you can get to it and you'll remember where it is. All right, so let's go through the process of restoring this wallet. I'm going to uninstall it and pretend that we're installing it for the very first time. run through the uninstall process here. Now let's say that you are doing this on purpose because you're moving it uh, or you're putting it on a different computer. There's one little caveat here. We want to make sure that in your users folder, in your app data folder, in the roaming, there's an Electrum folder and it's got all of your information in there. So if we want to do this clean, which I do, we want to get rid of this. And I can do that with confidence because I know I have that seed backed up. I actually had some other wallets in there too, but they were blank as well, so I'm not worried about losing anything. All right, so let's run through the installation again. Now you're going to want to go and download the latest version and uh, verify it uh, like we did in my previous videos and you can see over here I have that seed saved so if you are doing this on purpose and you just want to move your Bitcoin wallet uh, it might make it more convenient to do it this way but uh, the super secure way of course is to use your uh, piece of paper whoops All right, so we're going to run our Electrum setup seemingly for the first time. So uh, let's say that you've launched Electrum and it's crashing or whatever. So you would want to do a full uninstall and reinstall so that you could get back to uh, a working copy of Electrum and uh, you know uh, if your Electrum is crashing on startup or or what for whatever reason you'll want to do this uh, reinstall okay so now that the software is installed we're gonna go and run it for the first time and during the initial process it's gonna go through that uh, setup of a wallet okay uh, I usually connect uh, auto connect uh, which is the easiest way now uh, I've also had a user that said he was having some problem with the connection and he did the server select manually to get connected to the network usually auto connect is just fine for everybody okay it's gonna create a default wallet you can name it anything you want uh, it doesn't have to be called default wallet you could call it my wallet whatever you want to call it is fine and the name doesn't make any difference either if we restore from seed either okay we're going to create a standard wallet and okay this is the point where if you're running it for the first time and you don't have a Bitcoin wallet you'll want to create a new seed so you can create a new wallet uh, but in this case I already have a seed all right and it's pretty straightforward here now I can paste that in from my word file so we can go back over here and open this guy up and just do a straight old cut and paste copy here and paste that guy right in there and of course uh, you know if you're doing the super secure thing you would just type this in with a space in between each word and I believe it will uh, auto uh, move to the next line just let it do a soft return. Just type in every word one after the other with a space and when you're done you'll have uh, your seed filled. Click Next. Alright now it's just gonna wanna uh, create a brand new password for you. So uh, you may have had a password before but when you restore from seed uh, it's gonna ask you to create a new password. You could use the same password that you had before but don't freak out and say oh my god I, I don't even remember the password I use that's what the seed is for let's say uh, that's another great reason why you might need to restore from seed that you somehow forgotten your password 
uh, wrote it down and lost it, whatever, uh, it's going to ask you to create a brand new password here. So, and of course, it has to be typed in twice. Okay, boom. Now, as you can see, let me get some of this stuff out of the way here. We got our wallet is back. It's called my wallet. And it is, in fact, the exact same wallet that we had before. Uh, in fact, we can even check that by going to seed. And you can see that the exact same seed is there. And had there been any bitcoins in here or any transactions, they would have populated and everything would have been great. Okay. So that's the long and short of it. Uh, I'm going to do some more videos on restoring seeds from, say, a blockchain wallet. So uh, join me next time. And if you like my videos, give me a like. And if you want to be alerted when I, or I post a new one, you can click, click subscribe. And thanks for joining me.